and in the locker room. Each guy has been going over and through his own routine to get ready. But once they take the floor, they're one single unit. What a gorgeous nighttime view from high above the city of Atlanta. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony alongside. Our sideline reporter tonight, David Olden. If we get a break in the action now, let's take a look at the East and how the teams are stacking up. A look at the Wizards, winding things down this season. They're in that all-important ninth position within striking distance of a playoff spot. And checking out Atlanta, down five spots from them. You know, for the Wizards, they had much bigger things in mind when the season started. They didn't think of themselves as a middle-of-the-road club, but right now, that's where they are. I thought this might happen. Confidence can take you a long way, but you also have to have the talent to back it up. And now Washington's starting group. Hachimura and Bryant are in the middle. Napier is out there with Brown, and it's Bunga in at the three, the small forward. And for the Hawks, Herder the two with Hunter at the three. John Collins is out there with Clint Capella, and it's Young in at the point. Now, here is Young. Smitty, we know players are getting more nights off around this time of the year. How much did that occur when you were playing in the NBA? Uh, coaches and organizations really came up to guys when they see they were hurting. We didn't want them to play when they were injured. And then at the end of the season, Kevin, usually you looked and said, ooh, we have the number six seed locked up or whatever place locked up. And then that's when you start to get nights off. Not, I don't remember doing it during game 20 and game 30 where guys started to get nights off. Here's Hurt. He's coming off a 10-point game against New York. Yeah, and I look at his total effect on the scoring, both as a passer and a shooter. Incredibly productive. And it's Nate Pierre missing. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Scott Brooks did have a few minutes before the game tonight. He said a big key for them will be containing Trey Young. Coach said he can be streaky, but when he heats up, his deep range makes him tough to defend. Kevin, make that almost impossible to defend. Thank you, David. And what started it all? Terrific anticipation on the defensive end. Most teams now are looking to play with pace. No better way to ignite the break than off a turnover. Now, here's Hunter. And it's sent back by Bryant. They are 0 for the game thus far. 0 of 4 here, still looking for their first man. I'd say that shot is well within his range. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> Here's Young. He's coming off a 31-point game against New York. And he showed again why he is such a sensational playmaker. Some of the plays he made were just remarkable. Now Brown after the miss three from Trey Young. Brown the pass to Hachimura. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Hawks. And now a chance to take a look at some numbers for him. And he's been very active with his hands. How about the steal numbers this month? He's been really hounding on the defensive side. Atlanta's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need the basket. to the paint. Here's Young. Sinks the 15-footer. And, and his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. Here's Hachimura. He picked up 12 points in the last one against New York. The shot blocking helped as well. Those two blocks he had were big for them. And out of Japan, a real interesting prospect. Hachimura, especially now that he can stretch the floor. Yeah, he, he found the three ball in his last year of college. Hit over 40%. You combine that with the size, the motor, he is really versatile. And I feel like he's putting it all together. First one at the line is good. And although he started playing the game later in life, Hachimura has picked it up well and exciting young player to watch. That 
one misses, so he goes one for two. Well, it's a new front office in Washington, and Greg, they've got their work cut out for him. John Wall's huge Supermax contract as he deals with the Achilles injury. Tough questions to be answered about the direction they're going to take talent-wise. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. And proving to be effective around the rim. Hachimura leaving no doubt about that one. Long pass to Collins. Now, here is Young. Not a lot of room. To the inside. And there's Collins on the assist by Young. Never want to shy away. Collins delivers as much contact as he receives. Passes to Bryant. Here's Hachimura. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. For Washington, they have converted one of two free throws so far today. And typically, a strength of their 79% on the season. free throw is good and when you think about some of the most entertaining Hawks teams my mind always goes to the human highlight camp reason why he was a nine-time all-star NBA scoring champion has some legendary matchups against Larry Bird and Chuck Person to name a few one of the most electrifying players in the history of the game and so he makes both from the line this is year two for Lloyd Pierce as an NBA head coach. Still in his early 40s, the Hawks, the perfect opportunity for him to grow and develop alongside his players. Offensive rebound, Capella. This will blow, his bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag, and, and where's the help? Defensively, no excuse. You have to be aware he should be on your radar all the time. And Coach Pierce works as an assistant general manager in the offseason. Steve be able to learn that side of things and have a voice in acquisitions. That's very important. They are building something special in Atlanta. He's going to play a big role in that as well. That's good from Capella. The one thing you can say about the Hawks, they have drafted well over the past few seasons. Stole John Collins at pick 19, traded back for Trey Young, and the Herder selection. The rebuild may not be long in Atlanta. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. On the outside, and finished off by Collins. One of the best young lob men in the business. John Collins finished with an explanation point. Yes. And Steve, the Hawks not only identify talent, they identify guys who will excel in their established system. And that system is finding value with shooters. They also look for guys who bring the energy and also bring the effort. The size of the player isn't as important as the heart. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now, here's Collins. He's coming off a 28-point game against New York. Basket counts. Wizards have gone 5 of 7 today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Pass to Bryant. Lays it up off the glass. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. Young pass to Hunter. Brown against Collins. Young outside. The pass to Capella. Down to five on the shot clock. The 11 foot. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team.
Wizards leading by four. Al Napier. What a tremendous game he played against New York. Using his height and length there to prevent the second chance opportunity. Teardrop shot and Herter gets it to go. Few people see the floor as well as Trey. If you're open, he'll find you. Here's Napier. Good defensive work there by Young. The Hawks have gone 6 of 13 from the field, just under the 50% mark. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Washington shooting an impressive 60% early. And the basket by Napier. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Trailing by five. Wizards beat them last time when these two teams met in Washington. Yeah, and they got beat last time these two teams met. And really, free throws were the story. Now, here is Young. And the points coming for him in big bunches. His average stands at just about 29 and a half points a game. Capella. The kick out to Young. Over Napier. Young's shot is off. Washington leading now by five. Brown drives in. It's rebounded by Herter. He liked to have that one back. That's easy money. Dishes it to Hunter. Hawks passing it around. To the middle. Here's Young. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed assist. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. So timeout call here. The first for Washington. In his rookie season, a rough start shooting the ball for Trey Young. He came on down the stretch in a big way. a quick peek at the best rookie free throw shooters over the course of the past month. And you look at Reddish, second in the NBA, so great from the line. And of course, Rui Hachimura. He shows up in that same conversation. And they're both just fundamentally sound. And their success at the free throw line, I think, bears that out. Now, here is Smith. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. Wagner passes to Smith. A three ball. Washington gets it back in a new 14. Detman with the block. The 7 4 wingspan of Detman. Hard to get your shot over that. Count it good. And now just a one point Wizards lead. Wizards have gone an even 50% from the field. They are 7 of 14 for the game. Robinson passes to Mahimi. Smith against T. Rocket six. Here's Wake. He's coming off a 10-point game against New York. Detman with the block. And here we go. Teague heading to the hoop. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Master Robinson. Here's Wagner. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Outside Robinson. That shot misses. And Atlanta will come the other way. Carter, the pass to Teague. 
and he converts the way. And the Hawks lead by one. Well, Jeff Teague is one of the tougher players in the league despite his size, and he did a good job finishing through the contact. Now, here is Robinson. Smith feeling it out a bit. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. And oh, here we go. Carter's got it in the fast break chance. And it's blocked. Outside Robinson. The shot's good. Brown making the play. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. Teague, the pass to Devin. Takes the 13-footer. Reddish's shot is good. Reddish has got it all tied up now for the Hawks. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Here's Wagner. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Carter against Robinson. Over Carter. Robinson misses. And, and already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling back. Steve, we're seeing teams around the league putting up a lot of three-point shots. I'm sure you would have enjoyed playing in this era so much with that green light shooting three. I would, Kevin. Uh, getting a chance to shoot maybe five or six more three-point field goal attempts takes your numbers up. But I also think a lot of these teams are copycats. Everybody can't shoot the three. Work on your game and what's best for you. That's good from Vince Carter. Carter just a freak of nature. One of the best dunkers the game has ever seen a, a top tier shooting guard who just embraces the spotlight. No good on the second free throw. Washington's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Brown outside. Outside Robinson. Jacks up a three. Robinson can't get that one to fall. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Reddish, unable to get that one. Excellent D that time from Robinson. Brown kicks to Robinson. Passes it to Mahini. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. The Hawks trail it. 56 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Teague for three. Rebound by the Wizards. They are coming into this having notched a win against the Knicks in their last game. And after that game, it was impressive to look at the box score and see the work they did at the free throw line. That was a concerted effort to try to get to the line as much as possible. And it really made a difference. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. And Reddish with the swing. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Forth. Now, here's Brown. Nine points last game. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Jeff T. Few guards in this league shoot under 70%. From the line, Smith's well below that mark for his career. It's his first trip to the line. Under six. Three throw back for Smith. Smith hits them both. 16 seconds left to play in the first. Teague against Smith. Now here's Teague. Harder on the wing. Over Wagner. 
And that one goes long. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. It's the Wizards up one. We'll be back shortly live from State Farm Arena. You may not remember Vince Carter traded on draft night for his college teammate, Antoine Jameson, but he talked about that crazy exchange. So as I'm sitting back there, it's like there's been a trade, you know, Toronto Raptors and Golden State make a trade for Antoine James and Vince Carter right there. So our families are sitting right next to each other. So they're fixing the hat and all of a sudden it's like, all right, here's your hat. All right, give us that hat. Move forward. So it was just the weirdest thing. Here we go now. The fifth and sixth picks in the draft. Both of them went on to great careers. And draft day trades happen all the time. But being traded for your college teammate, a uh, pick apart, that, that's pretty unique. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Wizards, guys. Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. You know this, the team that dictates the pace typically rules the roost. We see that here early on. We've got Reddish. Also, Teague out there. Wayne Dedman is out there with Carter. And it's Fernando in at the power forward. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Hawks. And that one misses. Steve, I know you like this, that the three-point shot is having such an effect on the league, actually transforming the NBA. Are you surprised at how fast all this is happening? I am. I'm surprised that so many teams are adopting this transformation of shooting a three ball because there are some teams and there's some players. I know they shoot it, Kevin, but they shoot it at such a low percentage. If you have the guys that can shoot it, you should adopt it. If not, you got to find another way of winning ball games. There's nothing wrong with having a great mid-range team that can knock down mid-range jumpers. Now here's Teague. Good work defensively by Smith. Well, that's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Kevin, when Trey Young was in college, he was known for his long-range shooting. But Young says, the people who know me best know that I'd rather get an assist than any other stat. I pride myself on making the right play. Doing your teammates get joy and excitement from playing with you is all I care about. Yep. That's great to see. Thank you, D.A. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Amazing story for Dwayne Dedman. Didn't play organized basketball until he was 18. Undrafted out of USC, but his talent has won out. And he may have picked up the game late, but Dedman is making up for lost time. What I like, he's improved his hands and decision making. Even added a three-point shot the last couple of years. You can tell he's putting the work in. And he makes the first. A terrific athlete. Deadman went undrafted a few years back. But now he's starting to grasp the mental side of the game. The Wizards making a switch here. Hachimura is checked in. Good on both. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. Pass to Wagner. Back to Smith. The pass to Wagner. Five on the clock. Let's go. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He was one for two. 
just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Teague, the pass to Fernando. Back to Teague. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And I love that Teague didn't slow up when he got inside and went right in and drew the foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. good on that. And as you would expect from the way he plays, Teague is a terrific free throw shooter. The Atlanta making some changes. Collins checked in for Dwayne Dedman and Hunter subbed in for Vince Carter. And a switcher also for Washington. Bongas checked in. And he can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. Very surprising he couldn't capitalize on those shots. You don't see that often. Smith outside. Pass to Hachimura. Over Collins. And the Wizards getting another bucket right there. You have to push Hachimura out of there if you're the defense. He's a real problem on the interior. Outside team kicks to Reddish. Here's Fernando. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Clock at four. Robinson pulls it in. Wizards leading by four. Here in the second quarter, we played a little over two and a half minutes. Now. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Wizards will retain possession. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for Atlanta. Young comes in for T. Then for the Wizards, Bryant comes in for Mahini. And it's Napier in for Smith. Atlanta on D. Here's Hachimura. Nine points in the game so far. No good as first miss after three makes. Now, oh, here's Hunter. D right on him. Here's Fernando. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Defensively, Smitty, why do we see more full court press in college than we do in the NBA? You know, the guards are better at the NBA level. And I think also your five man, usually a guy who can't bring it up. They're pretty good at the NBA level. Just overall, Kevin, the skill level at the NBA level is better at college, so you can't really trap guys and pick on one guy who's not equipped. He's off on the first. Good on the second free throw. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Feeds to Bryant. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on DeAndre Hunter. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block, force him to the line. For Washington, they have shot 75% at the stripe, six of eight. Two shots. down the first one. He 
He's perfect from the line this time. The Hawks trail by five. This is a good Fernando. Young outside. Fires from the line. He scores with that shot. Now he's three of eight. Trey Young's a crafty operator from mid range, really, from any range. Now here's Napier, defended by Young. That's to Bonga. Here's Hachimura. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And let's take a look here at John Collins. He's been on a tear since the All-Star break, going really to another level. Fifth in three-point field goal percentage. Sixth in shooting percentage. And he provides that deterrent around the rim, ranking among the top 15 league-wide in blocks per game. And yeah, he's one of the dead-eye sharpshooters in the game, for sure. A top five percentage guy from deep. Just a hard man to slow down. The first one falls. as he hits both of his shots. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Young pass to Herter. He kicks it to Hunter. Now the feed to Collins. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Collins has got eight points. Known for his play in and around the post. Collins can also get it done shooting jumpers off the catch. Back to Napier. And another shot. He lays it in. Napier's got the lead up to five now for the Wizards. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. The pass to Collins. Kicks it to Hunter. Fernando, the pass to Collins. Shot clock at six. Here's Herder. Knocks down the three ball. Five points in the game. Woo! He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Outside Bryant, and Robinson wide open. He shoots, and a miss there on the triple. He really can't buy a bucket, but his teammates have his back. Good from Young. Young's got the game tied up here for the Hawks. Scouting report is be physical with Trey Young. And every night he finds ways to still make plays. And he may not have gotten the same attention as some of the other picks back in the 2017 draft break, but John Collins out of Wake Forest has been outstanding thus far in his career. And really one of the league's best kept secrets. Tremendous athleticism, also great hands and just has a knack for moving to the open spot around that rim. Here's Robinson after the basket by Atlanta. Ball stolen. Here's Hunter. Atlanta gets it back. Here's Fernando. And it's sent back by Bryant. They get the rebound. Fernando can't get it to go. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Here's a look at what's coming up for Washington. On Friday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Boston Celtics. Then on Sunday, I'll be facing Steven Adams and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And if I'm this team, I'm looking at this as a barometer to see how we stack up against some of the top teams in the league. They'll have to be at their best, but if they come out of this with some success, I think it'll build momentum for the rest of the run. And that one falls for Robinson. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Atlanta. Off 
on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Atlanta's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Young drives in. Good for another field goal. Number five on the night. Five for ten shooting. Took him a while to get going, but here in the second quarter, he's found his rhythm. Pass to Hachimura. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got seven rebounds in the game. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Wizards trail by three. Anga the pass to Nathan. Outside Robinson, five to shoot. Picked him clean. And it's sent back by Bryant. Robinson with it. Puts it up from 12. The Wizards with another miss. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Here's Herder. He dishes it to Capella. Young from outside. That's his sixth field goal today. And that makes him out six for 11. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Washington calls timeout. The 19th pick in 2018 out of Maryland. Kevin Herter with the positional size and skill to adapt well to the NBA game. Checked in for the Wizards. Bryant passes to Bonga. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. The second half of the season has seen a ton of assists from this group of players who are the top passers since the All-Star game. Second is Trey Young. Wow, he's taken his passing to a whole new level. His court awareness has really improved as we've gotten deeper into the season. Now, here is Young. They lead by six, their biggest margin. Passes it to the Bembry. Inside. Here's Collins. And that one hits back iron. For Atlanta, they come in off the loss to the Knicks. Here's Bunga and the rejection by Collins. Right there, the length of Collins proving to be the difference. Not in my house, he says. Bryant with the rebound. Bryant's got rebound number five here tonight. Napier with it, guarded by Hunter. Good, nice play there from Napier. And they repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Pass to Collins. He's covered by Brown. Bembry misses. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Hey, Kevin. Well, the Hawks said they were going to be patient when they rebuilt their team, and they were going to do it for the draft, and they've stuck to that script. Now, Trey Young is probably the biggest name, but Atlanta's added a lot of great young talent the last three years. 
There's John Collins, Kevin Herter, and in 2019, the Hawks added three more good young players in the draft. DeAndre Hunter, Cam Reddish, and Bruno Fernando. Things are looking up in Atlanta. I would think so, too. On paper, it looks good. We'll see if it materializes. DA, thank you as always. One falls for him. Out of Wake Forest, John Collins quickly emerging as a top-notch scorer. A tremendous finisher, and his range extends out beyond the arc. Atlanta making a switch here. Reddish is checked in. Both shots good from the strike. And players with big numbers on losing teams can be accused of, of empty stats. So, Greg, do you take Collins's with a grain of salt? When you look at his field goal percentage, high 50s, he's not just a high usage player. He is highly efficient. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Smith outside. Shot clock at five. Drops it in from 14 feet away. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that one. And you know what? There was probably a better matchup on the floor, but when it goes in, nobody complains. Atlanta with the ball, following the bucket by the Wizards. Here's Young. Again, the Hawks score. The charisma, the superhuman workload. Trey Young is built for stardom. Smith outside. Outside Bryant. 107 left in the first half. Smith against Collins. Smith missing again. Atlanta leading by eight. Hung outside. Feeds it to Capella. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. He misses the free throw for the Hawks. Wayne Dedman comes in for Collins. And it's Teague in for Young. And a change for the Wizards. Mahimi's checked in for Thomas Bryant. And he sinks the second. Wizards trail by nine. Got to recognize the situation. Trying to get a two for one. Absolutely, but at the same time, you want to get a good shot. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. And Reddish with the swing. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. He rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Teague against Smith. And there's the pass to Wagner. And Capella sends it back. And here is Teague. Reddish. That one doesn't go. Trey Young, he's feeling it tonight. And has been the driving force for Atlanta. He put together quite a quarter. 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. 
Kevin, thanks. Here with Jeff Teague. Jeff, they grabbed the lead on you guys. How were you able to grab it back? Came back in and just started playing harder. Uh, we know these are some crucial games for us right now at home. And we just got to go out there and try to get wins. Well, we'll see who grabs it last. Jeff, thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. We saw Trey Young lighting it up in the first half. He ended up with 17 points and three assists. Some great work from him in the first two quarters. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on how Atlanta played? Man, we just saw the best of Trey Young. Unlimited range, can make plays for others, will always be a size disadvantage, but refuses to let that stand his way. Kenny, what's your take on Washington so far? Poor efficiency on offense. That's what jumps out at me. You're not going to win many games shooting under 35%. Bad shot selection, too much one-on-one -on -one play, not finishing with authority. Now, these are correctable errors. They could choose to come out in the second half and completely flip that script. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. It's been one outstanding game from Trey Young. Definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. He's been very effective on the move, forcing the action, getting to his spots, and finishing plays. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Wizards trail by 11. Second half is underway, and here's who Scott Brooks has got on the floor. Hachimura and Bryant are in the middle. On out there with Nate. And it's Baca in at the three spot. And Clint Capella is going to pick up a foul. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Napier. Round the pass to Hachimura. Nash grabs the rebound. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. And Herbert gets it to go. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Here's Napier following the three by Atlanta. Pass to Hachimura. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Cam Reddish. Hachimura is looking to score. It sometimes forces the D to get aggressive. Love the energy. He shot five of six at the foul line. And from the line thus far, how about 83% on the season? Outstanding. John Collins, he's checked in for Reddish. Both good from the line that time. Atlanta leading by 12. Young dishes to Capella. Young outside. Washington with the rebound. Bryant's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Hachimura. And it's out of bounds. Last nice touch by Capella. Hachimura. 
Bryant looking over the floor. It's Brown on the wing. Just five to shoot. Over Hunter. Starting the half with three straight misses. Now how they envisioned this one. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. The shot's good from Bryant. Finally getting one to fall. They were 0 for 3 to start this half. Young outside. There's the three. Rebounded by the Wizards. They're looking out a sizable deficit. And there's still time left, so they don't necessarily have to really rush the game. They need to avoid that. Now, here's Napier. Nine points in the game so far. And stolen by Hunter. Fast break for Hawks. And late in to finish the break. Hunter's got four points in the quarter. Time. Solid in transition. His eyes light up when he gets a chance to finish one of those off. Here's Hachimura. Capella covering. Now Napier. Six to shoot. Pass to Bryant. Good. And it's Napier with the assist that time. Napier's got three assists in the game. Atlanta leading by 11. Young pass to Capella. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. With the fadeaway. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Bryant with him. He's picked up by Collins. Bryant in the post. Working on Collins. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Smitty for players. Social media can build their brands and they can engage their fans. But there are some downsides. Yes, it is, Kevin. I mean, it's a fantastic tool, like you said, for endorsement and bringing those uh, fans into your home or into your life but the downside people can see some things they don't want to see and also you can regret posting a lot of things I think yeah sometimes people do regret hitting that sand button so uh, yeah, they got to be careful you're right no good on the free throw Carter he's checked in for Atlanta and the Wizards making a change here as well Robinson's checked in Second free throw, good. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Young past the corner. Now, here's Hunter. Defense is right there. That one falls coming off Carter's team. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Napier passes to Bryant. The dish to Robinson. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Can't get the first one. Atlanta making a switch here. And he's good on the second. Now, here is Young. 
17 points in the game. Pass to Hunter. Here's Herder. And down it goes, jamming that one home. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Here's Hachimura. 13 points in the game. Good work defensively by Carter. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been there. Here's Hunter. Washington with the rebound. Ways to get back into it, but they've got some time. The tendency can be to really rush or push the game, and they need to avoid that. Bryant drives in, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. And he's at 73% this year at the foul line. Adequate, but not spectacular. First free throw is good. Both free throws good from Bryant. So it's Young who brings it up for the Hawks. Following this one, they get to host the Cavaliers. And that game closes out the four-game homestand for him. Carter, it's good. Yes. And the Hawks lead by 15. They are attacking the rim and getting great results. Now the pass to Hachimura. It's Robinson, top of the key. Just five on the clock. And that one's good. Hachimura. Hachimura's got four this quarter. Yes. And showing some toughness on that take. Hachimura, these kinds of buckets can energize a team. Now, here is Young. 17 points in the game. There's the steal. Here's Bunga. Sinks that one from the post. Bunga's got his first points of the game. Atlanta leading by 11. Here's Hurdle. He's got 10. Hunter with it. He kicks it to Young. Over Napier. Young's shot is off. Wizards trail by 11. Outside Robinson. for him. Pass to Cook. Six on the shot clock. Launches it. Bonga pulls it in. Bonga's got his fourth rebound in this one. Passes it to Napier. Here's Hachimura. Defended by Carter. Here's Hachimura. He's got 15. That cuts the lead to single digits. Hachimura's got 17. And the scary thing is, Hachimura is going to keep getting better. Games like this prove how special he can be. Now, here is Young. They have a nine-point lead. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Young's got 19 points. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Washington calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied.
some changes here. And here's our rookie leaderboard showcasing the league's highest scoring rookies since the All-Star break. Number five is Cam Reddish. As this season progresses, you can see his confidence growing. Sometimes you forget that he's just a rookie. I mean, he looks very confident and poised with his approach to the game. Now, here is Smith. Here's Hachimura. It's Deadman with the rebound. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Now, here is Smith after the miss from Cam Reddish. Pass to Mahimi. And that one drops. Mahimi's got five. And that's a good pass by Ish Smith. When he's in there, he does a great job of steering the drink for this offense. Here's T. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. The Hawks have gone 8 of 13 from the free throw line. Yeah, looking over their percentage on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. Free throw, good team. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Washington Wizards. There's the pass to Hachimura. Deadman with the block. Nice break here. Here come the Hawks. Here's T. And there's the lay-in. T's got five points now this quarter. And with the way T can move in the open floor, there is just no way to prevent him from getting points on a fast break. Fires from 14. Rebound Atlanta. Deadman's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Outside T. Pass to Reddish. Nailed from three-point land. 11 points in the game. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. And of course, there's uh, no questioning Cam Reddish's talent. Greg, he has a high, high ceiling. Yeah, I mean, great size, length, the fluidity as an athlete. He can make an impact at both ends of the floor. Shoots the three well for a young player. And you love his ability to match up. Really one through five. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. There's the triple. The shot. No good. And the Wizards now going the other way. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Robinson, and he banks in the lane. Robinson's got seven. Man, this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Benbury, guarded by Robinson. Now, Reddish. He's got 11. And now let's take a moment to check out the stats for Smith. How the second half of the season has shaped up for him. He's putting up about eight points a game, five assists, and three rebounds. Nothing about his numbers really jump out at you, but he'll come up with a timely play or two every game. He understands his role. He accepts it. He's one of those guys who doesn't need the ball to be effective. And the first one drops. Atlanta making a switch here. Collins has checked in. Troy Brown's checked in for the Wizards. He's off on the second. Wizards trail by 16. Here's Smith. And he uses the glass on the way up. 
Smith's got his second basket of the night. Quick first step. Smith blazing a trail on the drive. He's a tough guy to contain. Here's Benbury. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Smith the pass to Hachimura. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Hachimura's got eight points in the quarter. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Here's Bembry. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Smith against T. Count it, and the Atlanta lead has been cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Wagner. Oh, they own the interior right now. 10 straight points coming from inside. And Reddish, the bucket on the assist by Teague. Teague's got three assists now in this one. 46 seconds left in the third quarter. Smith the pass to Hachimura. Back to Smith. Five on the clock. That's a floater go. Rebound Atlanta. Gedman's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Reddish kicks the tee. Passes it to Deadman. Now, here's Reddish. Tries it from the top of the key. The shot comes out. And so it's Atlanta. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've excelled in the open court. Their transition game has allowed them to build this healthy lead. Back to the action after this word. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Reddish and Collins at the small forward and power forward. Teague out there with Bember. And it's Capella in at the five down low. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Collins kicks to Teague. It's taken away by Smith. And here we go. Washington fast break. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Collins with some nice D. Here's Bembry. He's covered by Brown. And breathe the best to go. That shot is off. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Here's Benbury following the bucket by the Wizards. Outside T. Rocket six. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. That one goes in. And that's now six points for Clint Capella. Terrible shot selection, but you've got to appreciate his confidence. Pass to Mahimi. Wants to get it to Brown and does. Misses from short range. The Hawks leading by 12. A nice shot by Teague. And Teague is just so calm. 
helmet and collect it when he gets near the rim. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. Here's Hachimura. And the layup's good off the glass. Hachimura's got 21 in the game. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Outside, Cowan. Takes it to Reddish. But three. But they recover it. Collins, good. Keeping that play alive. Anytime a shot goes up, Collins is going to compete for it. Brown with it. Picked up by Teague. Brown dishes to Smith. Good on the 13-footer. And after an abysmal first half from the field. The shot's now starting to fall. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. And now a chance to see the former Deacon Deacon Ish Smith in action. It has been in the league for a while now and played for several teams and he's a veteran through and through. Changes. Hunter's checked in for Reddish. Kevin Herter comes in for DeAndre Bembry. Young is subbed in for Jeff T. Napier is checked in for Washington. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey guys, Roy Pierce talked with his team during that last time out. He said, This is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. Thank you, David. And there's the call on John Collins. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Down low. Here's Hachimura over Collins. Collins with the block. A shot at the elbow. Hunter, no good. Wizards trail by 14. Look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Banked in off the glass. Hachimura's got 12 points here in the second half. And they're showing much more focus here in the second half. More effort as well. And their offense is starting to show signs of life. Now, here is Young. Back to Capella. Six to shoot. Here's Herder. He's covered by Brown. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off his shot. 24 second violation. Ryan is checked in for the end Mahini. with it. Brian up top. And the pass to Bonga. Brown outside. Five to shoot. Washington needs to get a shot off here. A three from Bryant. It's rebounded by Herder. Herder's got rebound number five here tonight. Under the pass to Kyle. They call him Red Velvet. Kevin Werder out of the University of Maryland proved he can stripe it at the line from day one. John Collins.
And the first one at the line is good. It's amazing that in the 2017 draft, Collins went just 21st overall. That's a steal, folks. And so Collins nails both of them. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. Naper kicks to Brown. Back to Napier over Young. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. And Greg Herter, the 19th pick back in 2018, sweet touch, and at six foot seven, good size at the shooting guard position. And the Hawks general manager, Travis Schlink, coming from the Warriors with Trey Young and, and Kevin Herter. The Hawks hoping they have a kind of Slash Brothers East. Now here's Brian after the miss from Trey Young. Here's Hachimura, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Collins. And you can see what makes Hachimura a tough cover. He can beat you with finesse, and also he can bring the hard hat. And he makes the first. So he hits both. The Hawks leading by 10. Herder passes to Collins. Dishes at the young. And it's sent back by Bryant. They get it back. Collins finds Capella. Shot clock at two. On deep. Atlanta again missing. And so Bryant will bring it up for Washington. Brown feeling out of it. That's the Napier. It's tipped. And putting that 7-2 wings pan to good use. Hunter can be an elite defender if he keeps working on it. Offensive rebound. Capella. They shoot again. And it's good on the way. The fellow's got four this quarter. When you're trying to claw your way back into a game, you cannot allow a second chance opportunity. Especially when you're this far down, you have to make the most of every sequence. Here's Bunga. Over Hunter. The Wizards with another miss. No one on him. He committed to fading away. Probably could have taken more time with that shot. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Jump ball. Washington with the ball. Wizards trail by 12. Brown outside. Back to Napier. With the floater, it's stolen by Capella. Last break here, here come the Hawks. Here's Young, makes it off the glass. Young's got 21. Another area where Young excels, using the dribble to create space for his shot. Washington calls timeout. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath.
player of the game, John Collins. And he's been out there doing his thing, just dominating on the glass. There aren't many players who put more into their rebounding than he does. And we saw that again tonight. Nobody could match his effort on the board. They increased his role tonight after dropping their last game, and the move paid off. He's, he's been the best player on the court by far, and now they don't have to worry about a losing streak. Hachimura, no good. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look, but this is why we play the game. Wizards trail by 14. Napier passes to Hachimura. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Atlanta leading by 12. And here's Young. Again with the block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Wizards trail by 12. Napier passes to Bryant. He dishes it to Brown. The shot will not fall. And Atlanta will come the other way. 17 points was their biggest margin. So it's Bonga who brings up the ball for the Washington Wizards. Here's Hachimura, defended by Young. The Wizards with another miss. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Bonga, no good. Atlanta leading by 12. Young taking his time here from deep. They get it again. Here's Collins. Just couldn't take the lid off. They had their chances, but came up empty. Round the pass to Hachimura. Stolen by Collins. Young outside. He kicks to Capella. Here's Herder, defended by Bryant, and the dunk by Capella. That gives him the double-double. Ten points and 13 rebounds. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets.
Wizards trail by 14. Here's Hachimura. And the powerful one-handed slam. Now understanding how to burn the defense in those sets. Hachimura doesn't rush anything. Let's the play develop naturally. Now, here's Capella. Young outside. Knocked away. And here comes Brown. Leading the fast break. And the layup is good. Brown's got four points now in the quarter. The Hawks leading by ten. Now Young. Six left in the fourth quarter. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He does a good job of making quick reads and quick decisions off ball screens. Young always looking under control. Here's Hachimura. And the space there, but it's offline. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Here's Young. Passes to Herter. It's up a three. Washington with the rebound. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. Nice. Atlanta shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Out of bounds. Washington takes possession. This is One eleven left in the fourth quarter of this one. Napier feeling it out a bit. Here's Hachimura. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Collins. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Collins. Taking two shots. Under six. Two. He hits the first one, and that brings them within single digits. from the line that time. There's a minute left to play in the final quarter. Here's Atlanta. Young dishes to Devin. Young right side. Over Napier. Rebounded by the Wizards. Here's Hachimura. Ryan trying to free himself up. Hachimura, no good. And the Hawks with possession here. They're leading by eight. Here's Hurt. He's covered by Brown. Young for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And you know they feel good giving their fans a show here while taking care of business. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. So it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. And once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Holland saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.